really want to be with you. They, they want to go with you. And, and your companions as well. Sometimes we are, I'm very proud of prideful person, definitely to work on that. But definitely need to always remember the unity in our companionship. Always we have, um, must be an opposition in all things, that's true. I've seen many times, but that doesn't stop the work. That's even though, if you have a companion that doesn't want to work much, just go on and have a, a happy um, enthusiasm for the work. Try to your best to help your companion. But must have an opposition in all things. Don't that's, get discouraged for that. Many things will go on. I've seen like even times that was rough, things didn't stop because that's not our work. Our job is the Lord's work and his children. <coughs> and I've seen even though many, many things happen, it's just up to us, like really. Not put us in front of anyone. We are now definitely better than that's not because of us that things happen, but it's how we love the people, I guess. And pray for charity. Charity is something that I'm trying to work and pray for. I don't know how, but really change ourselves and change our hearts just praying for charity. I don't know how, but that's the spirit, I guess. Um, it can sanctify ourselves. And all things must fail, but charity never fail. Charity is a pure love of Christ. That's something that I will keep working on. Something that I've seen that had made difference in my mission is charity. What's the first thing you're gonna do when you get home? What's the first thing you'll do when you get home? Oh, that's for sure. I'm gonna find a, a new companion. <laughs> <laughs> Five and seven time will be open to eight in the morning to eight and a half. I'm getting home at ten. So I'll be a full time finder. <laughs> After two years, it's definitely no. Definitely, I have a lot of things, but that's will be one of the first can lie as well. <laughs> I definitely can be with my family, my mom. Three years that I haven't seen her. But my mom never saw me with guys with suit and ties. Never saw me talking in church. That'll be very special thing for her, especially for me as well. But yeah, see my parents and also definitely. Uh. <laughs> Looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm just, just getting the CC bar advice. What's your most spiritual moment? about the Book of Mormon every day, I don't know, 20 contacts if you have every each one. And we gave a pass long card to this guy, we just walk off and then the next day we got this referral. We got this person's house. I'm gonna tell Barry this story because I don't know. Then we got this house and a guy 
came into the window, black guy from Haiti, and we were like, hey, we're looking for Jerome Jr. Do you know him? He said, yeah, I'm Jerome. So okay, yeah, we received our, our referral from the church. We are missionaries. We want to give you a book of Mormon. He's like, yeah, I'm very tired today. It was like 8, 8.30. Can you come back tomorrow? And by the way, bring and say, and we saw that he was an American, so which language do you prefer? And then he was like, no, just bring in Spanish and French and English. I like to compare each one. So, all right, whatever. Let's bring all of all the three. And we came the next day. So we went to the downtown, to the mall, to meet someone. He wasn't there. We came back like five to ten minutes after that. The car wasn't there. We got told. And then we had the appointment half an hour after that. <coughs> Some men were coming from Seacockles to meet us this place, like kind of far away. We needed the car. The next day was the Thanksgiving day. We had the turkey ball. We needed the car. <laughs> and it was like 7.30 at night. No way. And the guy was amazing. Bring like three book of one or two different languages. <laughs> man, no. And then, like, oh, wait, what happened? Then went to the, I forgot the name of this place. But we went there and said, the only possibility if, if what is his name? Zambrana? Dave. David Zambrana. The only possibility if he's this place, because he used to go there to shopping for us. That if he's there, like it was the day before Thanksgiving, like, that's the only way to get home and I don't know, somehow. <laughs> no doubt we got there. <laughs> we went talk with the manager, like she, the person goes to the cashier 13 and 14 and talk with the manager. We go to 13 and 14 and who is there? David and Brenner. <laughs> say, what are you doing here? It's like, yeah, I was just talking about you others. What are you doing here as well? And then we told him, say, yeah, just go to my house. He started to run. So we pay very quick. Went to his, his car. Pick us up and went to the place where the, the our car got towed to the place and we got the car. $160 had to pay. But also we got the car. Went to this place. When we called the member said, hey, we're gonna be a little late, like 20 minutes. We explained what had happened. We got there like 8.20. It was supposed to be there at 8 o'clock. And the guy came again to the window. There was like a little steps, stairs, and the building, the main door and like the apartment. So he came to the first window. And I was like, mad, like, I don't care about you guys. You guys believe in the devil, Joseph Smith, and blah, blah, blah. I was like, so cold as December, like, ah, oh, no. Paid like everything to, like, to get here and for that. No, that's not true. Like, and he's trying to explain, like, no, he was a prophet, no, blah, 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 those kind of explanations. He was like, no, I wanna hear anything. I, know, I was turning around saying, other oh, Ginto, brother, that's boss. <laughs> and I turned around and, I, and then the door is open, the main door. And I saw this big black guy in the door. It was like the lights coming, I couldn't see his face, just like the shadow, the shape. You know? <coughs> and I was like, oh, other Ginto, that's the guy, right? And then it was the guy that had given a personal card like a week before. And then say, hey, how's it going? And then just like, let this guy like talk to himself. <laughs> Let's talk to this guy now. He doesn't want to talk to us anymore. And he was like, hey, how's it going? And he was like, yeah, I called the number. I've called the number. I'm just waiting for the book. Huh? So, what is your name? He's like, yeah, my name is Jerome Jr. He said, that's my dad, Jerome. <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't like it because he's a pastor. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. And he was like, Dad, shut up, Dad. That's for me. So oh man. I was like, just come in. Let's come to the hallway and let's talk here inside. My dad is a little annoyed. And then we went in and like, oh my goodness, that's a blessing. Oh, a miracle. Then we started to teach him. We gave him the book of Mormon. He's like, man, that's that's awesome. He read about the introduction, and then comes his dad. Like we bear a testament to him, the, the, the member, and the dad comes with a Bible. He's like talking already. You guys are the devil. Get out of my family. Blah blah blah. And then he turns to his dad and said, Dad, you don't get it. It is from God. It is from Jesus Christ. I'm like whoa. Like my head was like everything coming again. Like retrospective, like the car and everything that he's dead was for him. Like he was ready. And even though his dad was a pastor, he came and he said, he was like, hey, just coming out tomorrow, like 5 p.m., my dad is not here, he's working, 